Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time we uh, made our first visit to the Olympus Coliseum. Met a cool dude named Cloud Strife. Maybe you've heard of him. Also, uh, met Hercules and Phil and Hades and... The Olympus Coliseum world is small, but it is cool. I, I do like how it is presented in this game. That's not to say I don't like how it's presented in other games, especially KH2. But uh, what's really cool about the Olympus Coliseum is how they implement Final Fantasy characters there usually. That world always does the best job with them. You know, the concept of this Final Fantasy Disney crossover game, it's a crazy concept. Like, it's a concept I don't think anybody was ever asking for. But now that it exists, I think people can't help themselves but, but to uh, get excited at the idea of Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters teaming up and clashing and, and all that. And, you know, you, you can do it in a very smart way to, uh, a really clever way to, for, for a lot of pair-ups and matchups make sense, but uh, that is something throughout the whole Kingdom Hearts series that I feel like there's just a lot of waste of potential. You really don't see Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters interacting with each other very often at all. The Olympus Coliseum world is kind of a place where that's an exception. Not in every single game. This game, for example, uh, yeah, that's where we see Cloud. Cloud is in the Olympus Coliseum, and if you played Final Fantasy VII, you know Cloud is a mercenary early in the game, and he's being used as a mercenary by Hades. Pretty cool concept. Uh, Cloud's not doing it just for money or anything. He's doing it because he's looking for something important to him, something he needs. Like, and just the Hades and, Hades and Cloud interactions is cool. And then when it looks like Cloud's not going to get the job done for Hades against Sora and team, kind of he, he turns on him, gets Cerberus to fuck him up a little bit, and Hercules has to step in and, and rescue him. And I just I wish that other Disney worlds had Final Fantasy characters pop pop in and interact with the Disney characters. Now here, early in the game, there's only one other Final Fantasy character that we haven't seen yet that's in this game, and he's completely optional. All right, let's uh, let's jump in this book. Jump in the book. Sink, 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 sink. Yeah, also, in the last episode after we got done at Olympus Coliseum, I was only there for 30 minutes. We came back to, to uh, Traverse Town here because we needed to talk to Leon about some things, and it's I led did. us to meet Merlin and Nothing. jumping in this book now. Thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. 
Near Poo? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's going away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. <laughs> That's right there. Don't miss it. An odd sign hangs above this house, this house's door. Take a look. We met before. Welcome to the Hundred Acre Wood. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit, <laughs> then I could eat my fill. I don't think there is really a purpose to doing that. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? And that's all she wrote for now. Yep, we gotta find the pages, y'all. And the whole concept, the 100 Acre Wood is in this game, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. But I feel like overall it's done the best in this game. Because 
just because finding the pages is, is more of a challenge in this game. Kingdom Hearts 2 is it's not a challenge at all to find the pages. Not at all. In that regard, it is lame, but I will say Kingdom Hearts 2's mini games are better than Kingdom Hearts 1's mini games for the wood. Kingdom Hearts 3 is just an embarrassment when it comes to 100 Acre Wood. That's, I mean, it, it might as well just not even be in the game at all. It, a complete embarrassment, the whole concept of it in, in Cage 3. Let's practice magic a little bit. Let's just kind of fuck around with it. That's all there is to that. Thunder! 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 See ya! Fire! Thunder! Here! Fire! Ha! So cool! Time for a grand reunion. Sora has this has are. his kingdom key just What's for this cutscene. Riku! They don't really do that later on. Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kyrie? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. 
Who are they? <laughs> we visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. Who was a planet? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. Whoa. Foreshadowing. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget it. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, huh? he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Now it's a small house that thanks thanks to you, fees and air this hard work. Good job, ladies. Oh, that's called a navigation gummy. This room will be our secret base. It's nice and snug in here. You guys ever hear of Maleficent? I hear she's in town. Who is she? A witch, man. She's a witch. She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful. Our ruler was a wise man named Anson. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. So you delivered that book. That navigation gummy's installed and ready to go. If you find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. Well, better get back to my real job. What's my real job? You'll see. See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. That one that rang a bit ago? The one above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know. But it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Heck, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. So that was a summon gem. Interesting. See me at the first district. We will try to find out what Maleficent is up to.
this room will be our secret base. It's nice and snug here. left these for us. They ambush us. Ah! 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 Ah!
Stop one. You get two postcards for it. of a champion. Grown this firing for the most part. Yep, yep, yep. 
I kind of showed you how much stronger you've grown already. Oh shit. Place is sealed up. All in a day's work. So there shouldn't be any heartless around. Hey now, that was quick. Now you know I'm in the gummy block business. Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come again, I'll give you a big discount. Go ahead, take it. It's a special giveaway. Hey, got another navigation gummy there, eh? I'll bet you want it installed. Yeah, please. Hmm, looks like this one isn't. Looks like this is another one of those blocks that come in sets. You gotta find the mate to this one. I can 
by gummy blocks from said here. And I can sell them too. Don't go in the gummy menu. Come back when you get both navigation gummies. I live and breathe if it isn't Pinocchio. Oh, yeah, Jiminy, you're here. Oh, hi, Jiminy. What in the world are you doing down here? Hmm. Playing hide and seek. I just don't believe it. And here I was, up all night, just worried sick about you. Why, of all the Pinocchio. Pinocchio, are you telling me the truth? Yes. Then tell me, what is this? It was a present. No fibbing now. You know you're not supposed to tell lies. A lie only grows and grows until you get caught. Plain as the nose in your face. But if you want something, why wait? Why not just take it? Oh my, who told you that? You need some advice from your conscience. That's right, you're my conscience, Jiminy. I'll never tell lies as long as you're around. You need to be good so you can become a real boy. You promised Geppetto you would be, right? Oh, do you know where Father is? He's not with you? Jiminy, let's find Father. Now hold on, there are all sorts of dangers and temptations out there. I'll go find Geppetto, you, so you just wait here. These fellows here will be helping me. We will? <laughs> well, shall we go, Sora? You could have asked us first. I don't know how I feel about helping out a wooden boy. I won't lie as long as Jiminy's around. I wonder where Father could have gone. Yeah, we can steal, steal. A completely optional little scene right there. Easy to miss.
now we've sealed the keyhole. So this town had, had a keyhole as well. Hurry, Sora. The Heartless are growing stronger every minute. Thank you, Sora. You're the you're the only one who can stop the Heartless. Show us how it's done, Keyblade Master. I sure envy you for seeing a, for seeing. I sure envy you for seeing a keyhole. Well, next time. Next time, you'll get to see another Sora. Wink. Are you thinking Aerith also supposed to be a little bit older like Squall is? Or no? Yuffie is her age from, uh, if she's her age from Final Fantasy VII, then she's 16, and Sora's only 14, so. Very acceptable relationship. Sora bags in an older lady, nice. Goofy were in, I'm talking to Aerith, and then literally right beside him, Sora was in this room with uh, Yuffie and Squall. I don't know why they just all didn't go to the same room that in the first place. I guess they just didn't realize. I guess Squall and Yuffie just didn't realize that Aerith was in the room beside him at first. Say the night, try hitting the clock. See, there it is. two postcards are. I know one is in the synthesis shop, which I can't go to yet. I'm not sure where the second one's at. To be honest. That's gonna appear for Geppetto later on, maybe. Well, all right, 
this is where I'm going to end this one. Until next time. It's going to be a shorter episode, a little bit, but... Oh well. See you in the next one.